It's Doug with America's Best Restaurants. We're traveling the country coast to coast to find the best restaurants for you to dine at every single week. We're in Asheville, North Carolina at Strada Italiano. This is Anthony, executive chef and owner. What is Strada? Strada, the name Strada just means straight from the main boulevard. Uh, the reason for why we named it that is because there was uh, three restaurants that were in here right before us that, uh, that came and gone really quickly. Um, so it was beginning to have like this cursed, um, this stigmatism of that being like a cursed place. Uh, I never believed that. It's a beautiful place. The ceilings are from it's a 1920s building. Everything's really beautiful in here. Um, so I just kind of envisioned like a really cool Italian restaurant, being an Italian uh, American. And uh, uh, so I just wanted to give it back its power by giving it a really powerful name, like the Auto Strada in Italy, that you can go anywhere in Italy from. Nice. So, yeah. Plus, my family's from all different regions of Italy, so that's why we do regional Italian cuisine. So it's kind of like you're taking a road trip through all the uh, places in Italy, having uh, you know different flavors from different regions. That's cool. Yeah. Love it. Now, normally we profile three menu items. We've got four plus. We're going to show some really killer drinks because there's a cool bar here and there's a cool bar upstairs. They have a rooftop. So we're going to cover the full gamut in this episode here. So why don't you come with us and let's go check it all out. back as I said four items this time here's Anthony all right what are we looking at what is item number one so right here we have the uh, grilled uh, Florentine ravioli it's actually literally grilled uh, it's such a large ravioli that uh, we just put it right on the grill and uh, it comes with a sherry tomato cream sauce some uh, fresh baby uh, slightly spicy arugula basil and a Chianti reduction this here is our Tuscan duck and figs these are uh, these figs are so popular as an accompaniment uh, to the duck that people used to ask for it as, a, as an appetizer. So now it's actually become an appetizer. That appetizer has grown from a single uh, portion fig to a double fig, and then we were doing a family style one at one time. Nice. We just can't keep them in the house. <laughs> uh, the duck is actually uh, local, and it's from uh, North Carolina right here, uh, Joyce Farms. Uh, the figs are stuffed with uh, basil whipped goat cheese wrapped in prosciutto and flash fried uh, doused with a Chianti reduction. Nice. Uh, we have our uh, burrata. Burrata is like mozz fresh mozzarella that's uh, enveloped. And inside there's a creamy filling. So when you cut into it, the creamy filling just spills out. We have some heirloom tomatoes. Uh, so that's our burrata uh, caprese, heirloom tomato caprese. Um, so, Excellent. Yeah, it's really great. It's a great stuff. We're going to profile the lasagna in just a second, but a real quick question. Out of the dishes, we only have three here. You've got a big menu. A lot of this is homemade, either your it's recipes, family yeah. recipes, yeah. all the way down the line. Yeah. Absolutely. It's uh, My family's from all over Italy, so this is regional Italian cuisine. So it's all different regions of Italy, and it's uh, mostly family recipes. Excellent. Yeah. We have a hurricane coming through. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of hitting us in the back right now. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, for item number four, we switched out. We told Anthony, see ya. We got Vlad. Vlad is the head chef to talk about this dish right here, the vegan lasagna. What are we looking at? Well, this is the vegan lasagna. It's uh, basically it's vegan ricotta made in house, gluten free also. We did this, we figured out this dish because there were so many people here at the restaurant asking for like vegan options or gluten free options and we, we came with this dish. So it's 100% made in-house. Uh, it's house-made pasta, uh, house-made ricotta cheese, and also the nice touch of um, Beyond Meat. Nice, so is this recipe, you come up with it? Is it a combination? How did, how did the whole thing get developed? Uh, with Anthony. With Anthony, we figured out the recipe to bring another nice touch to the restaurant for the different people who can have, like, or who have different um, dietary restrictions. Gotcha. One of the things we found traveling the country doing this show 
is vegan options are becoming more and more popular. And people like myself, when you think vegan, there's one mindset you would not consider this vegan. Yes, we noticed that here at the restaurant. So we start our production with um, 24 lasagnas uh, every other day. So now it's, we're talking about like a little bit more than 100 lasagnas per week. Wow. So that's, it is super popular now, this dish here. Also, we, we are doing now like uh, vegan and gluten-free pastas, spaghetti, specific spaghetti in-house for, you know, make their different customers happy, especially with these restrictions. Some people are yeah. sick, they can have like uh, gluten. Yeah. So that's another option for people here in town. All the more reason for you to come down here, but this isn't it. We've got four dishes here. We're gonna focus on the bar as well because they've got a killer bar right on the other side and some really cool drinks. So we're gonna come back and focus on the drinks next. All right, we're back. We've covered the food. Now for the beverages. We have the head mixologist for Strata, Devin. All right, first and foremost, what are we looking at here? Uh, right here we have the Sala de la Vita, which means spice of life in Italian. It's going to have a mezcal foundation and we are doing a passion fruit and serrano simple syrup with that to give it a little kick and lime. So nothing crazy, super simple, just building some unique flavors on top of each other. Nice, all right, number two. This is one of my personal favorites. It's the Rum Hatton, just a classic riff on a Manhattan. But instead of your traditional rye and sweet vermouth, we are doing Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum and Velvet Falernum instead of the sweet vermouth. Uh, that's gonna be a Caribbean liqueur from Barbados with just flavors of lime and Caribbean spices with a little bit of Angostura and a dehydrated lime just to give it a little touch. That's a lot in that glass. <laughs> Not, nothing too crazy, also pretty simple. I like, I like really simple ingredients, just kind of accenting the, you know, the flavors that the liquors have to offer. Very cool, Not and? Nasty. Glass number uh, three. This is the Talia. So being one of Asheville's original rooftop bars and craft cocktail lounges, this has been one of the stars of the show the entire time. It will never leave uh, the cocktail program. It's going to have gin, muddled basil, a bay leaf simple syrup with some pineapple and a little bit of lime to balance it out. Top it off with a little bit of Angostura to kind of give it that color contrast and some basil to finish it off. but. It's um, one of our, it's our hot shot. Star, it. star of the show for sure. Excellent, so we have these three drinks here. So we have the food, we have the drinks. Devin, Vlad, Anthony, Strata Italiano in Asheville. Real simple, they're on social media. You can Google them, it's the easiest thing in the world. Just Google them and it's gonna <laughs> pop up. Come here and try this out. You are not going to be disappointed. In fact, I think it's time for me to dive into this. Can't just have beverages sitting here and not try one. Can't have this food. So it's time for me to dive in. If you want to try it, you need to come here for yourself and give it a shot. That's it. I'm out. <laughs>